Oh. So, hi guys. I was getting ready to leave out the door. See, I got my mask on. This was a while ago. Somebody came knocking. I was on the phone. Um, one of my home team got me hooked up with um, one of his friends that is a social worker. And they're trying their best to find out what's happening with me and stuff. So, started knocking. I knew exactly who it was. Come on, even though they were knocking nice. And, um, remember last time when my daughter came over? You know, I. She can look as sweet as pie and as pretty as she is. But you're supposed to treat your mom with respect and love. And if you don't have patience for her, don't be around her because it just sucks the life out of me and sucks everything that is healthy away. But, um, I was gonna say, I didn't even know it was Saturday. That's how bad I am. Oh, yeah. That's what I was gonna say. And, you know, you can hear, just like the last time neighbors told her I was here. They volunteer all kinds of stuff, you know. And my daughter said, oh, she, well, she's probably in there smoking dope. And they said, yeah. What kind of shit is that? And those are my main perps next door. Hmm. Yeah. But I told you. I thought she grew out of making up for fairy stories, fairy tales, and manipulating and lying. But she did it. And she's real good at it. I love this fucking kid. I love this kid. But she was hard as hell to raise. Because I was a rag doll. Remember I told you? She just fucking just choked me wherever. And, um, like I said, when she got sober, I let a lot of it go. And she sees it from a totally different perception. But yeah, she would blackmail me if I didn't buy her this or, you know, let her do that. And she make us homeless and she had some place to go. You know, Sharpie, Sharpie pen on the wall, writing on the wall, um, blowing marijuana smoke through the manager's doorway. You know, I just come out of a motel for the last eight months. I didn't want to be homeless. You know, <laughs> she locked herself in the bathroom and screamed because the manager was next door. You know, but I thought she grew out of that. She, she didn't grow out of it. You know, and maybe I could deal with it if she didn't snap on me every two seconds. But, um, the thing about it is gang stalking, gang stalking, gang stalking. You know what I mean? She's always going to the neighbors, you know. She knows all these neighbors. Yeah. Every time she comes, I hear her whispering with another neighbor in the hallway. And she did tell me that one time, well, the last time when I let her stay here, and she not only brought herself, she brought a dog that wouldn't poop outside, and her girlfriend. Uh, yelled at me all the time like I was her child was very disrespectful and I was confined in my bed because I couldn't do anything you know and she put her clothes all over and her clothes were charged and she was trying to charge my clothes but her pile, her pile of clothes kept on falling to the ground I don't I don't know how you electrically charge shit but I know that's what it is. Because um, you can feel with stuff's electrically charged. Like if somebody gives you a roll of bags, you know, that's electrically charged, you can feel it. And if you put stuff in there, like a normal bag, it'll like tear it and start dropping stuff and stupid stuff like that. But I don't have to be here if I don't want to. I told her to change her mail address. You know, I am, 
I used to take mood levelers. I don't need them no more. You know? I told you they misdiagnosed me being schizophrenic. I knew they were way off. But, um... Yeah, I don't want to say it in public. Whatever. But do I look like I've been smoking? <laughs> but it doesn't matter. Even if I was? Gang stalker. She, she would be, um, what do you call it, spreading my data? Just like the neighbors do? Yeah, so she is either one of them or is basic, basically nothing better than one. Because we all know gang stalkers, no matter what kind of breed they are, um, what label you stick on them, uh, if they get a paycheck or not, it's the snitch and the bitch culture. <laughs> it's still a breed of rat. You know, nobody's coming into their homes and like, you know, uh, doing a home, home invasion for them to, you know, call the cops or something. Yeah, psh, call the cops. Somebody fucking does shit like that. You know, you're not on the streets fucking, uh, you're not out on the streets fucking, uh, committing armed robberies, you know. Then you're fair game and you take responsibility for your own fucking shit. But when you go into somebody's house, I don't care how it is, apartment, whether it be um, through some kind of wireless remote, taking taking hold of their camera, uh, whatever, you know, having a, a monitor in here or a TV, anything, they're not going out and looking for it. You know, you're zapping them with, with dues, they're not going out and looking for it. They're not going out looking to be zapped. And I don't mean a zap like, um, you know, when you get a little electrical charge in your finger and you touch somebody and go zap. I mean a fucking zap. Yeah. I don't bother these people. They come in here, you know, whether it be by voice, whether, you know, you know how it is if you're a target individual. They come in here and fuck with me. My existence apparently bothers them because I don't mess with none of them. I've never done anything to any of them and I've never disrespected them or their city. You know, in any kind of fucking way. They're just angry that I live and I breathe and I exist. So they steal my rights and my privacy. And they flip people I care about and people I love. And, hey, all it takes is one good liar to make up a, a fairy story and whisper in the right ear, right? Then all of a sudden everybody's coming out of the blue and out of the dark and behind the dumpster and shit and saying, oh, well, this and that, this and that. And guess what? It's like, Really? <laughs> From the first one that spread a smear campaign. So, now everybody's coming together. Fucking camaraderie. Fucking um, smear campaigns. Lies. Fucking make bigger twists, turns. <laughs> They're no Dr. fucking Seuss for sure. But, at least this community is... <laughs> gathering together on one common thread their hate for me and their desire to slow kill me but I have a right not to answer the door whether seen in or seen out it doesn't matter but the thing is, is I'm stuck here I was going to go on my way out after my phone call now I'm stuck here. 
you know, if she didn't treat me like that, she would be welcome here anytime she wanted. Peace out, targets. I'm gone. I just get the fuck out of here.